Hi, my name is Peter Livingston and I am the director, co-producer, and writer for my upcoming Untitled documentary on the fighting game community. My small talented crew and I are following three fighting game competitors, Ryan Filipino Champ Ramirez, Abraham Neo Sotelo, and Harrison Young as they compete during the Evolution 2012 tournament season. We also cover the rise and fall of an integral piece of Americana, the American Video Arcade, and how a community that was built around the video arcade has survived and thrived almost 20 years later through the emergence of tournaments like Evolution. With interviews from museum curators, professors, and arcade owners themselves, we hope to paint an entertaining backdrop of history to go with the drama of competition. We have been filming this project since about the summer of 2011 and have since traveled the globe to Las Vegas, up and down the state of California, and all the way out to Japan. Almost the entirety of our project has been funded out of pocket, and as uh, you can imagine, our pockets are pretty much empty. So we are turning to the Kickstarter community to help us reach our financial goals so we can continue to get the best possible footage in order to tell our story. Besides just being forever grateful for your donations, we also plan to give out some very nice prizes to go with them as well. And you can check out those prizes over on the sidebar. We have a little bit of rough footage for you to check out from what we shot thus far, and hopefully you decide to contribute to our film. And uh, thanks a bunch, Kickstarter community, and hopefully you will be as excited about this project as we are making it. But I just, I didn't realize how big of an effect it was going to be. You know, I, I, I don't know if I really got that it, it's going to be the center of the fighting game community. And the evolution is going to be the flagship U.S. tournament of worldwide prominence. <laughs> I just put enough time to the game that I'm confident that I'm not going to lose early, you know? Because this is the evil that I should do good. We don't play each other that often. We kind of dodge each other all the time. When I play him, I definitely want to beat him more than I want to beat anybody else. There's only three more things for me to do. One, to get past the first round in SBO. There's like the 80% of people who are relatively good. They'll play online, they'll go to tournaments every once in a while. And then there's like the next 10% where I think that's me. Second is to get a top eight EVO, which you already accomplished. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> and then I think there's people who've been around for a while, like Justin Wong and Ricky, who, who are just uh, five, ten percent above everybody else. And the third one is to win EVO. Okay, that's good. Street, Street Fighter 2 was a gift because, I mean, you know, arcade businesses started to sag a little bit, and that game came out was so popular. You know, it single-handedly rose everybody's sales, and people just went crazy for it. The era of the freestanding arcade like Starbase was pretty much over. What caused it, I think, ultimately, um, that all home entertainment got better. The N64, the PS2, and then the PS3 and the Xbox. I mean, eventually the home systems became better than the arcade systems, and so much cheaper, you know. How long do you guys hope to keep Starbase just turned 29. Trying to hang in here, um, you know, whatever it takes. Like to make it to 30 next year. It's a tough road.